Hey everyone, welcome back to more Shadow Wars 2. And we are going to be tackling level 6, at least the main part, uh, the main level portion, uh, the Valve. Now, just to refresh you in case uh, you know, you're wondering how you get into this place, uh, direction-wise, uh, you know, this is a maze. Might as well get some extra cash while we're at it. Again, just to refresh you, it's gonna be east, west, east, and then uh, north. Okay, so now that we got that straightened out. Alrighty, now, I don't even think you're supposed to have the red ring, technically. But it kind of makes things a little bit easier. Now most of these rooms are dark, and again, if you don't have uh, the cross with you, I'm um, pretty sure most of these rooms will have invisible enemies. So, uh, getting the cross is kind of helpful to... Okay, I'm not sure what that block did. Uh, but yeah, getting the cross is kind of helpful to... so that you can actually see where stuff is. Another CC logo in this room. Now, as long as you have the magic sword, you're probably fine in terms of offense. I think I'll keep enough punch to get through this place. And I think I should bomb that wall. Free money! Okay, might as well grab the free money. <clears throat> and just pull the wall masters in this room. Okay, that's more potential money. And you got your bomb to the left. And I got plenty of bombs right now, so I don't need to pick up the bombs yet. Oh, I got bombs right there. Now I actually have gold arrows, which is uh, really helpful, since that does uh, Master Sword damage. In this case, you know, simply put double of my magic sword. Uh, that's a nice little bonus. I have that on back in case I need it. But honestly, I don't think, you know, shouldn't even spam a lot of arrows. Honestly, this magic sword is, should be sufficient for this place. And yeah, I'm already full on bombs. It's kind of annoying, most of these rooms are dark. <clears throat> Again, you would probably... I, I think you will have invisible enemies if you... Uh, don't have the cross. But now that all the enemies are visible, this isn't that... Make a challenge, at least. And this character tells you, yeah, you, if you don't have the raft, you pretty much need to go back and get it, because you're going to need it in this place. Okay, this room, okay, bunch of land bolas. Lots of them. 
lots of money. Pick up the compass. Now you probably know where that dot is, except you can't get to it right now. You have to go all the way around and reach it. Yeah, this gets kind of annoying. I have to keep switching back to my candle. Half the room gets dark in this place. Uh, I think it actually bombed down, but I don't, it doesn't lead to anything. No, go left first. see where everything is. But yeah. Luckily you don't need a lot of room to uh, dodge the Gleon. You just need a little bit of space to just do a little zigzag. Okay, another one of these room designs. So you want to pick up the another key from this room, and it is really windy outside. I'm mean, I literally hear it like just I'm kind of afraid it's gonna be knocking something over. And I think I just got myself stuck. Oh my gosh! Can you even believe this? Oh man! Oh man! Why would you put water just in front of the doorway? Uh, well, that, that hasn't happened to me before. Okay, uh, F6. F6, continue. <clears throat> Since you can't use the flute, I don't think it works to warp yourself out of that, so... Good thing you start with full health, so... Really, not that much of a penalty there. But yeah, you can see this. I, I think this quest was made a long time ago, so I mean, you know, it's bound to have some flaws in it. But I think some of these flaws were like, you know, it really should have been a. should have had some testing done. Yeah, and now you actually go into this room. Yeah, you can't do anything. So, you're gonna have to go around from the other side. <clears throat> yeah, so, word of little note there do not put the water right in front of the doorway. This testing is for you. I mean, people will get stuck in any sort of number of ways. I mean, anyway, that's just a minor annoyance there. Okay, so you find a hidden stairway, and holy smokes, it's windy outside. I mean, I looked on like weather.com, it's like 30 plus mile wind right now, maybe 40. Imagine driving in these conditions. I don't think that'd be the safest thing. Even going outside, I'd probably be afraid of jumping out. Uh, you know, the wind would probably toss me out or something. I'm using quite a number of bombs, but uh, just opening up all the passages. Actually, I think there's a passage here. Yeah, you can uh, find the map. Okay, um, somewhat large place. Again, it kind of looks like a, maybe a, a gear or something. I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be, but... Okay, so this is what you're going to need, your keys. And, uh... No, 
another CC logo in this room. Alright, so... Yeah, again, you need two keys for this, so make sure you've found a couple keys around the place. So you can actually get this thing. Zigzag your way around. Okay, this room you find a suspicious block that you know you can kind of guess what's there. Uh, you're gonna need the item from this place to open that up, obviously. Who needs bombs? I already got a few bomb drops from those good though. Okay, so if you head on to the right, you actually find a couple of uh, green patras. Color swapped patras. Look like they are, you know, the same. No, no difference in strength or anything. Got some color swaps there. And this is worth uh, 200 rupees there. Um, you know, I might actually just leave that there. Since I don't think the Patras respawn anyway. I don't think I'm in any real need for cash at this point. This is where you're going to need your raft, so if you don't have the raft, you're going to have to go back and get it. Okay, um... Yeah, the, the gold arrow is so nice because it pierces enemies. So after you get through that, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna want to get that key. So you're just gonna work around to get the key. Now, seriously, like half the rooms are dark in this place. I'm getting a lot of money. Now we can pick up the small key there. And now we can, you know, work our way to the left. This, this level isn't too difficult. Just a bit more of a maze than anything. And this room, I don't think has anything in it. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's a literal empty room. Uh, I think I had tested it, like, you know, when I had some other items. Came back here, did some testing, and nothing in that room. It was literally just empty. So, you don't have to come back and search that room, I don't think there's anything in there. How many times have you seen the CC logo in this place? Okay, so going on up, and this is where you need your meat. 
that's why I bought it in the last part, you know, it cost 15 rupees. Same place where you got the red ring. Okay. Now we're on the other side of this room from above. And one of the blocks you can push. And you can pretty much guess where this is gonna take you, so... And here we have a BS Patra. So, no difference. Easy enough to take out this thing. And this will let you the hook shot. Alright. Pick up the hook shot. And I'm not really sure why this teleporter is here because you're literally right next to the starting line. But, you know, I guess every other level had this, so just the whole tradition. Okay, so nothing else to do in this place. Um. Now, there is something we're gonna get, actually, you know, you could just go right into the next level, actually that's pretty much all you can really do. But I am going to take a bit of a detour uh, to pick up a little something. And I'll show you the little, there's like a little bug, I'll show you what that bug is. I mean, it's not, again, it's not like game-breaking or anything, but it kind of allows you to take a little shortcut to things. So we're gonna uh, show you kind of the, I guess, the way you're intended to get to this area. Okay, so... Just take a little walk over. Pretty much back to uh, was it Jawbreak or level two or something like that. At least just to save myself some backtracking time. Yeah, if you happen to clear the Triforce part of the dungeon, it actually it's a lot easier because you can just whistle warp back to these places. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in here, we're gonna take a little break, and the next part we're gonna, again, do a little bit of a detour to pick up some goodies before heading on to the next level. Alright, see you guys later.